Seniors, schedule your senior portrait today. Scan this code or use the link. All photos will be taken at Hall of Field Photography on Moore Drive. Follow dress instructions for the tux and drape style portraits. This is a free photo session for your yearbook photo. Upgraded sessions are available for an extra charge. Good morning, Broncos. This is Mrs. Jones, your college and career coach, and I'm excited to be here with you today for this week's college and career readiness update. I want to start by saying, if you've not had a chance to join the College Career and Counseling Canvas course, or if you haven't had a chance to view it lately, I would encourage you to do so, um, so you don't miss out on important announcements. One of the things that I would like to bring to your attention is the home page of that course. We have provided our contact information, um, so my contact information is there along with your counselor contact information. So please feel free to reach out to us at any time and you can also click the link to schedule an appointment with us. Um, we are available to assist you um, throughout NTI2DL. So we have some exciting events for you this week. Um, we will host virtual visits with the University of Louisville and Williams College and Lincoln Tech Institute will host a very special presentation called Road to Success. That presentation will be for grades 9th through 12th and it's all about um, sharing different post-secondary options, budgeting, and helping you decide what a good fit is for you. College Application Week is coming up October 12th through the 16th, so we will share more about that next week. But in the meantime, if you have questions about college and you're wondering why you should apply, please check out our bit.ly. Um, it's bit.ly why apply 2020, and you can submit those questions and we will answer them in our panel discussion that will be released the week of October 12th. Seniors, we are hosting a very special family engagement night presentation for you um, to get you prepared for the FAFSA, which is the free application for federal student aid. That application window opens on October 1st. On September 30th, we will host our FAFSA frenzy family night to share an overview to make sure you are pre prepared. We will also be available to assist with FAFSA completion throughout the month of October and the rest of the school year. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I have a lot of announcements today, a lot of things that I want to cover, but first and foremost, I want to say happy fall break. Today is the last day before fall break. I need you guys to be safe, responsible, and respectful. I need you to be smart with your personal protective equipment. I need you to, to just make good decisions and make sure that we try to keep our numbers down and that we're not in the red. Um, I just want to reiterate some of the things that we're discussed Monday night at the board meeting and it is essential that Fayette County and our students do a good job with um, staying safe and being safe in the midst of a global pandemic. It is September 30th. September is almost over. October is upon us. It is fall. Full effect it was a little chilly this morning and uh, the leaves are starting to change colors. My kids are already seeing Halloween decorations. We just we're moving right along with this school year. It is a C day. And I want to remind you that today we have the opportunity to meet with every single teacher and get help. It's a great opportunity during fall break to catch up on some of the things that you may be missing, some of the assignments that you may have trouble in. Hey, I have a great suggestion for you now. You don't want to get a zero on your assignments because our teachers are required to report grades and we are in the grade reporting window now. Grades are going, we're getting progress reports here, getting ready to print progress reports pretty soon. If you don't want to have a zero, turn your work in on time. Turn your work in. Just turn it in. Figure out what the teacher wants you to do. It's not hard. They have learning intentions and success criteria. Learning intentions is what they want you to do. Success criteria is how do you get an A? Super simple. You figure out what they want you to do. You figure out how to get an A and you do it. You give it to them. You get a good grade. You get to go to a good college. You get a high ACT score. They're teaching, they're working really, really hard getting all these lessons ready for you. Now, you meet them halfway, and the success that's going to come out of that is for your benefit, right? Um, our teachers already have degrees, so it's your turn. 
to gain that knowledge and to get to that level so that you can be successful in your life. So my point is, let me stop rambling on and on. My point is, turn your work in. Do it when it's due. Get it turned in. Figure out what they want, what, how you get a good grade, and get it turned in. Use this time to catch up. All right, I have a special announcement. This year, the University of Kentucky's Confucius Institute held the 10th annual Moon Festival Art and Essay Competition. They received over 100 artworks and essay submissions from kindergarten through 12th grade Chinese language students across the state of Kentucky. Last year, our Frederick Douglass students, we had four students win prizes. This year, we are experiencing um, the uh, virtual learning, but our students did an even better job, an amazing job. We had 18 students that won a prize. We're very, very proud of the students. Um, the artwork was judged by professors at the University of Kentucky's College of Fine Arts. And I am excited to tell you that the following Frederick Douglass students won in the art category. First place, Kayla Lopez. Second place, Shanice White, Ahorn Hang, and Alyssa Piles. Congratulations. Third place, Selena Tran, Joshi Francis, Leilani Bueno, and Harley Spartman. Good job. And then we had excellent awards issued to Blake Longworth, Shay Dan, Emily Moore, and Esmeralda Diaz, and Jasmine Fay. No relation. Um, essay judges were for the Chinese language were judged by Chinese language teachers at the University of Kentucky. And again, Douglas students did a great job in this category. We had six, um, there were six students that won five prizes. And, and the students come from Douglas, the students that came from Douglas that won the prizes are first place, Gwen Gandiano. Second place, Navin Tanasuk and Ivy Adu. Third place, Michael Caldwell and Jaden Farmer. Three Douglas students, three Douglas students, Navin Tanasuk, Emily Moore, and Jaden Farmer represented all Chinese class students and did the uh, individual speech for the Global Confucius Institute Day live stream. That's awesome because a lot of these students also take another language, so having that Mandarin Chinese and, and representing the school, great, great, great job. I also have some good news from the Kentucky World Language Association, which we had the fall virtual conference in September, and Ms. Sydney Moore, French teacher, won the French Teacher of the Year and was recognized for the uh, 2020 Kentucky World Language Outstanding Rising Star Teacher. So big shout out to Ms. Mo. Um, fantastique. And then my last announcement, that was French by the way, my last announcement is seniors, 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 seniors. We have a plan to get your senior photos done. Boom. I don't know if you can zoom in on this, but I will have this and you've already seen this in your senior announcements, but you are going to go to the Holly Field uh, Photography Studio and get your senior photos done in the studio. We need you to do that. We, were, we will update the Infinite Campus, the picture that's on Infinite Campus, and we will have that picture for the yearbook. So please, please, please go ahead and reach out to Hollyfield. And it's easy. It's portraits at hollyfieldphotography.com. Reach out to hollyfieldphotography.com and schedule a time to come in and have your pictures done. They started this Monday. So you can schedule them right away. Um, ESS tutoring is getting ready to start here in the next week and a half. Probably the, not the week we get back, but the week after that, we'll have after school and Saturday school tutoring. I'm Lester Diaz, your principal, and it is an honor and a privilege to serve you in this capacity.